Hey, Daniel from These Seven Seas. Hope you're doing well. You know, I'm super excited because I have an unboxing to show you guys. So this, boom, here you go. Now, <clears throat> you may notice that this is from Canada. And you may then already have uh, deduced that this is going to be Grimsmo Knives. Um, there are a few companies... Uh, I would say that hail from the wonderful uh, country of Canada and Grimsmo Knives is one of them. So let's just go ahead and open it. I already cut the package just to kind of save time. But, you know, if you order direct from Grimsmo Knives, this is kind of what you, this is what you'll typically get. OK, you're going to get a specialized thank you note from the Grimsmo team that is always wonderful to see kind of that personal kind of touch. You know what I'm saying? And then once you get into the package, usually it'll come wrapped up in this kind of this brown lunch sack kind of a uh, wrapping paper with the Grimsmo knife stamped on it. And then, of course, the infamous um, case. I don't know the name of the case, uh, but honestly, Grimsmo knives has one of the very best packaging around. I mean, you know, Chris Reeve knives, um, they do it really well, but this is just another step, another level up, you know, when they provide something like this, you know, um, very hard, durable plastic, has two latches. I don't know if this is waterproof. I want to assume it is, but it's just great. You know, check that out. You know what I'm saying? Proudly made in Canada. Let's open this bad boy up now this is my second grimsmo knives um the first one that i had was the rask i loved it but i ended up selling it but this is the infamous norseman i would say this is probably like the flagship model for the grimsmo uh knives uh this is what they're really known for um but yeah this let's just this is what you're gonna get right uh you're gonna get this wonderful presentation comes with a T9 torque screw and a generous bottle of nano oil and then, and then of course, a knife, right? And then if you want to open up the flap, you're going to also get, in addition, um, it looks like a sticker and then, of course, the certificate of authenticity. Here you're going to see kind of the, the info on the knife. There you go. All right. Bazamos. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back, and let's just get to the star of the show, right? Ah, check it out, guys. Look at that. This is a beautiful, like, gold bronze anno. Looks like it's kind of the, the polished titanium hardware. Um, oh, my gosh. This thing is a beauty to behold. Um, like I said, I had the Rask. Uh, ew, the Rask is a, a fantastic knife. Um, loved it. It's just some of the most unique, best action I've ever experienced. Ended up selling it. Um, and so now I get to try out the Norseman. And I feel like most folks or more people are, are familiar with the Norseman platform than the Rask. Uh, but yeah, check that out, guys. This is, I believe, what they call the crosshatch pattern. Um, blade seems dead centered. Um, oh my god, this is number 6139 RWL 34 steel. That's that's like their staple steel. I don't think they use any other steel. I heard they are using like CPM 154 at you know for a very short time because they ran out of this steel, but I think. Most, if not all, of their knives usually run the RWL. Now, let's just open it up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That is the action that I've been missing. All right. Oh, my gosh. That action is, is just phenomenal. Ooh. That is that magnetic drop shut action, you know. There's really no action quite like a Grimsmo action, you know. Um. I've had Holt, I have Koenig, I've had Brown Knives, I've had the Oz Machine Company, and they all have very fantastic, phenomenal action, but they're all kind of unique in their own ways, right? And Grinsmo is the same case. It just has this amazing action that is just really, 
you know, a groomsmo action. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh my gosh, just first impressions, guys. Oh, what a what a beautiful knife. The action is just ridiculous. It's very reminiscent of the Rask, uh, if I if I recall correctly. Like, you know, it, it's it, it feels very much like the Rask that I had. To be honest, it's just amazing, amazing action. Um, it does definitely feel a little heftier. Um, you know, fills in the hand a little bit more than the Rask for sure. Um, it, I think it definitely is a bigger, longer knife than the Rask. Now, the way that I've heard people kind of describe or compare the Rask with the Norseman is that the Rask is is like kind of like an elegant out of out of town going out to to dinner type of carry, while the Norseman was really designed to be your everyday carry, to just take use and abuse, to be able to just perform under just all types of conditions, you know, I, I saw a video the other day, you know, it's kind of an older video about, I think like 10 years ago or seven, five years ago. And, uh, it was a video about a guy who was, who is, I believe a paleontologist and he used his Norseman day in and day out to like dig up like dinosaur bones. And so he would use his Norseman kind of, I guess like a, a trowel or like a shovel to kind of dig around the bones like and he was talking about how he would dig through like rocks and sand and how he would use this knife in the water while they're doing like underwater I guess excavations of some sort you know <laughs> and so I mean I, you know like dude that's pretty awesome I don't know a lot of folks that would use a knife of this caliber in that way but it was just really cool to see someone actually use this knife and just really kind of push it to its limits and and still perform very very well um you know i'm not a paleontologist so i'm not going to be going around digging for bones or digging through rocks with this knife but you know um i'm pretty sure this thing can handle everything that i needed to do which is just everyday type of stuff you know um chopping down trees, um, cutting steel cores. No, I'm just kidding. You know, um, I'm, I'm doing what most of us are doing, right? Um, food prep, cutting down boxes, you know, stuff of that nature. And, you know, just off the, you know, just right from the jump, I feel like, yeah, this is definitely a very, very interesting blade shape. But I feel like this, this kind of this broad kind of this tip, you know, would really lend itself as a really good butter knife. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, this is my first impressions. This knife is, oh my God, that action is. If you've never handled a Grimsmo knife before, um, it's just hard to describe what the action is like. You know, it's just so unique to Grimsmo. It's just like the way of, I've heard people describe it. It's like it's like this magnetic kind of drop shut action it literally feels like the blade just sucks itself into the handle like on its own accord that's how crazy smooth this is i i don't have to do any risk uh wrist manipulation or action whatsoever look at that this thing just crazy oh my god dude uh, um grooms and i i think they've been around uh they've been in the business for i think over 10 years now and Oh man, they've continued to refine and refine and refine the Norseman and the Rask, and now they have the the Saga pen. But I love their philosophy that they just continue to push the boundary uh, on perfection, you know. And so, wow, this thing is it's just so gorgeous. That gold bronze anno just really pops. Look at that. I know like as I carry it and use it, the, the anna will kind of change color, you know, with the oil of my hands and whatnot. But, you know, you just hit it with Windex and that shine will come right back. Um, but gee, wow, gee whiz, this knife is just absolutely beautiful. What a what a stunner of a knife. Um, there you go, guys. That is my first impressions. I'm going to go ahead and carry it and use it for a little while. And then I'll do a full review on what it was like to to EDC this very interesting, weird, 
unique uh, blade that is the Grimsmo Norseman. All right. I'd uh, love to hear your comments, your thoughts, your questions. Drop them down below. If you like what you're seeing, you know, feel free to subscribe and like this video. I'll talk to you guys later.